Hey everybody, Riker Rider here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 3! Last time we had frozen the sea on the east side of the world map, and now we can actually go get a uh, treasure chest in a new stage! You're gonna need a lot of items before you're able to make any real progress in this stage. All we can do is work on the gray treasure chest for now. Oh, did I tell you that... Ah, uh, what... what was it? Uh, last night, the 5th of June, I did my first race on Speedruns Live. Now uh, here we get the spiked hat. This will allow us to break blocks from underneath. We can break the, fi the uh, uncracked blocks too, which is nice. When does my list make me go there? Because that doesn't make a lot of sense. My list doesn't direct... doesn't make me go there yet, but, uh... sense. Uh, I'm going to get it later because it's out of sequence with the treasure chests. In any case, uh, we're going to head to West 4 because there's uh, another treasure we can get. The boss we have to fight in this stage. Now those of you who just think casually run games, even if you're not very good, you should get involved with SRL. It's a, it's a pretty awesome community. It's fun. They'll teach you how to get better. Uh, I raced Super Mario 64 with four people I knew and two people I didn't and ended up getting second. Uh, unfortunately, Game Guy kind of balled my time. Uh, he ended up finishing in, I think, 320, and I got 405. Now, 405's pretty good. I think I'm gonna go watch the run again and see if I can put up some highlights. So I've already put one up uh, from that run, and you guys have probably seen it by now. That was that wing cap near miss. I think there's a couple other interesting things that happen during the run, but not too many. But in any case, now that we've flipped that switch, we can actually go back and get the red key now. Because you need the you need the blocks in this room to be uh, raised, I believe. Yeah, you do. I'm not even sure why I picked up the gray key in the first place. I mean, there will be a reason to pick up all four keys eventually. I'm kind of excited for Modern Masters tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go to the shop and, uh, and pick up a box of that, mostly with store credit I've accrued. Been 
winning a lot of tournaments around here. Lots of these zombies around here. That's the one I want to fall down, because this will take me to the boss. Now, you may actually recognize this boss from uh, World 4, but instead of playing... Uh, instead of playing basketball, we play soccer. You know, that reminds me, I actually played in a youth soccer league when I was young. We were... I remember, I think it was when I was, like, nine or so, we were the second best team in our league, but we had, like, the second fewest goals scored because we had such a solid defense. Which unfortunately made our games kind of boring to watch. Because uh, a lot of our victories would be one to nothing. Speaking of victories, got a nice three to nothing victory there. This is the second music box of five. I'm not quite sure how that suddenly makes uh, the river and the coast accessible on the north side, but whatever. But we got some new stages. Now, if I remember, this stage on pretty much all of its treasures is fast. Now, there is a music coin that can be rather difficult to find, uh, but we'll get to that when I actually go do the music coin runs. Now, I have to go into the current in order to get back. If you hit one of those one of those spikes, you'll float up to the top of the screen, and it's irritating. Go nice and quick. It's one of the smaller stages in the game. Uh, uh, here we get the trident. Uh, the trident is actually going to be combined with our next treasure to have a pretty big effect on the map. And our next treasure is in the next level, the Tidal Coast. Now this has some pretty big differences uh, between day and night as well. And I didn't want to become Spring Wario yet. For instance, uh, you will only be able to access the store at night while the tide is up. And just having the tide up makes navigating the stage easier in general. And I believe you do have to have it nighttime in order to get all of the... Uh, all the keys. Or not all the keys, uh, well, obviously all the keys, but all the music points as well, so you can only... Yeah, that's gonna be interesting to route out. No. It does make getting this treasure chest slightly harder. break the fire blocks back here. Not that challenging of a stage, and we've gotten... What have we gotten? Five chests so far? This might be a pretty productive episode. And here we get the yellow book. When combined with the trident, this will let Wario control lightning. And that 
that's why the bridge is there, because the bridge crosses a canyon. And we will head to the steep canyon right now. If you're wondering why the south area only had three levels, this is why. Because they hide one right here. golf in a while, and I think the next time we play golf, the green speed is going to be increased. Watch out for these hands, just like the ones in the desert. Uh, they'll hold you up real bad. And be careful about getting set on fire in this area, too, because falling into the current can send you quite a ways back. There's our great key. Uh, curse my reflexes. Alright, let's try this again. I'm one of those people that has really twitchy reflexes, which can be either a good thing or a bad thing in gaming. And in here we get the throwing glove! We've been waiting for this one for a long time! What the throwing glove will let us do is pick up small enemies that have been stunned. You cannot pick up larger enemies yet. At least the enemy block the enemy breakable blocks are a little bit more clearly marked in this version. I think we only got time for one more treasure, though. That'll make six, which will be a good pace. Now that we have the throwing glove, we can get the red chest in the title coast. Just gotta find the right enemy. That's one. Ah, stupid fire. And just like your other breakable blocks, enemy blocks can have coins in them as well. But unlike in Wario Land 2, there are no 100 coin drops, and, uh... Oh, and something I forgot to mention about uh, coin drops from blocks. Uh, in this game, all drops are fixed. That's not where the key is, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm double stupid. <laughs> double stupid, I think that's the first time I've said that on the channel. Sounds like something a nine-year-old would say. chest is just at the bottom of this, uh, at the bottom of this flooded cave. And I believe there's a red coin, uh, somewhere in, somewhere in those breakable blocks, but I can't be bothered. Uh, there's also a music coin in this room that can be challenging to get to if you don't uh, plan correctly. Here we go. 
then you will have to make use of- Oh wait, that's another room I'm thinking of, not this one. There's a room very similar to this, it might be in the same stage, uh, that has a music coin with a bunch of breakable blocks. And here we get the stone foot. Stone foot, when heaved into the air, causes an earthquake that's going to upset a few locations on the map. And somehow the earthquake drains the swamp water. I'm not sure how that works. But we're out of time for this episode of Let's Play Wario Land 3. Join us next time when we explore the three new areas, including getting our first blue chest. See you later.